Hey everybody, this is Brian Mertens from NatureMentor.com and today I'm going to be talking about squirrel vocalizations and specifically looking at uh, how to understand the alarms and territorial calls of red squirrels. Uh, red squirrels are a really vocal mammal that have a lot to add to the uh, an understanding of bird language even though they're not birds. They, uh, they still will alarm in much the same way at things like hawks and cats. Basically anything that will pose a problem for a squirrel, they'll be uh, keeping their eyes out and sending messages out around that. So um, there, if you spent time listening to red squirrels, I mean there are two major vocalizations and they're really easy to tell the difference. Um, so the first one with the alarm is the uh, you know they'll kind of be up in the tree and they'll be stomping their back feet and ma just making a big racket um, a lot of chirps and chucks and just going on and on it can go on for quite a while and most people recognize that pretty easily as an alarm because um, it sounds really intense and it's it's loud um, and then the the second call that they make is this uh, is a territorial call and that sounds just like a like a trilling like a rattle that kind of goes off and they'll they'll move around their territory and, and they'll make these rattle calls from different perches where they um, kind of talk about the edge of their territory to um, other birds from, or other squirrels from a distance um, now the the part where this gets confusing is that these two vocalizations obviously the alarm is made when there's a predator around and the rattle call is made just as a regular uh, occurrence for their their territorial behavior so there's not necessarily a predator around when they do that um, that's important information to know when you're learning bird language but the thing that that really confused me when I started listening to this is that sometimes these two vocalizations can actually occur, occur together at this like at the same time and um, so in that situation I really wondered you know is it is it territorial or is it alarm? And oftentimes I would go over there to investigate and just find nothing. And and so after a while you kind of start to question like are these squirrels actually talking about something? Are they bringing me good information or are they just making noise? Um, and so um, the the thing that really helped me is to realize that the the alarm sound that the the chirps and chucks that they kind of do when they're up in the tree that that can be used not only to scold predators like a cat um, but it can also be used to scold invading squirrels um, when when it's used alongside the rattle so you'll kind of be listening um, and you'll hear them alarming but then you'll also hear a rattle call mixed in with that and it'll kind of go back and forth um, now this is this is re a really helpful distinction for people to get when when you're learning squirrel language or bird language because if if you know that that's that that's what that is then you're not going to be thinking that those alarms with the territorial calls in them are alarms you're not going to go over there expecting to find a predator because that that really feeds back that you know bird language is confusing and um, so you know if you don't know that that this is taking place it's gonna it's gonna make it a lot harder to understand squirrel language if you do know that that's happening um, it, it'll really put things in perspective that you'll be able to go out and and listen to these calls and know for certain that okay there's there's really likely something happening here or oh I know what that is that's that's uh, squirrel you know territorial aggression and, and uh, you know every time I hear that now I go over when there's when there's alarms and territorial calls happening together every single time I find a, a second squirrel um, and so it just it just made it it's just made it really clear for me and and I can get a lot better information I know how to sort through the squirrel vocalizations now so that's that's been really helpful for me as far as beginning to understand how the cats are impacting the squirrels and how the hawks are impacting the squirrels so um, yeah, get out there and listen to those squirrels. This this uh, distinction will apply somewhat to Douglas squirrels as well, um, although obviously the vocalizations will will be a little bit different. I, the rattle call is pretty similar. 